The Puget Sound region was booming. New development sprawling. Construction all over, whether it be Bellevue's Spring District or at Rainier Square, Seattle's second tallest tower. Amazon's campus on both sides of the lake taking form, along with a state convention center expansion and the new arena at Seattle Center. These measures are more stringent. The governor's order could halt them all. John Scholes is the downtown Seattle Association president. There's some efforts today to reach out to the governor's office to try to get some clarity. That's because Jay Inslee's stay home order exempts workers who support construction and operation of essential facilities, services and projects. The governor's chief communications director telling King 5, Amazon, Key Arena, Convention Center, etc. need to stop for this. It has been noted that some of the mega projects <coughs> have not used social distancing <coughs> and halting work and the virus go hand in hand. We've got 4,000 housing units under construction right now in, in downtown and each one of those are important to our housing crisis. Scholes says it is not that easy, not with 60 projects under construction or under development just in downtown Seattle alone. I think it's huge with the scheduling and sequencing of vendors and just how these projects are organized um, and uh, are completed. And uh, it can, a uh, two, three week complete shutdown, I think, can result in months of disruption to progress on certain projects, depending on where they are. Uh, in their schedule. One can expect that many of the project backers will likely seek an appeal to keep growing as the rest of the order goes into effect tomorrow. In Seattle, Chris Daniels, King 5 News.